Today's exciting episode of Does the Chieftain Fit comes to you from the Australian Armour and Artillery Museum, where I have found a chenillette. It's the Renault UE. Chenillette stands for Little Track. It's kind of a cute name for kind of a cute vehicle that's about two and a half ton and doesn't quite come up to my waist. However, I am not one to shirk from a challenge. Actually, I think people have been asking for this one. Step in, so far so good. Okay, so I've got a clutch, a brake, an accelerator. I have two tillers, I have a lever here for actually dropping the back ramp. Uh, I'll bring the camera around in a moment. But well, let me, oh, it's a little bit irritating. Cover this. A little spot here for my head. And we'll cover this down here. I hope I can get out of this afterwards. Oh, good Lord. You can see, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to dare to actually close this all the way in case I can't get out. <laughs> I'll be embarrassing. Museum's about to close. But uh, you can see absolutely nothing out of this vehicle. Oh, good Lord. But to answer the question, does the Chieftain fit? Apparently the answer is yes. No, there are one or two caveats. Uh, so I'll just hop out, get the camera back now in a second here, and you'll have a look. In the fairness, I thought about this, maybe getting in and out. Yeah, although getting out in a hurry might be an issue. Too many things in my pockets. That was the track. Okay, so I am sitting on the whole floor. Now, this is me depressing the clutch, this is me depressing the brake, and this is me depressing the accelerator. So far, so good. The problem is, you can see that the, the steering levers don't have very far to go. So I have to decide, am I going to use my foot? You know, I'm accelerating, I'm turning right, I'm accelerating and turning left. I'm hitting the brake and turning right or left. I don't want to do this quick. The gear shift is actually, I'm, I'm, I'm told by the operator, last name Lottie, this is really a lot of fun to drive. Four speed, manual. First, second, third, fourth, with reverse over and back. Uh, it's a big engine is right here. I would say you want to be careful about the, uh, the heat, but it gets worse on the other side, and I'll show you why. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so I can technically drive a shiny left. One of the problems with this tiny thing is trying to get your head down low enough to get in the camera, but this is the passenger side. Now, I was offered a ride in the passenger side of this during all's armor fest when it's spinning it around, and I start climbing in, and I realize this is not a good idea. So here is the engine block and the exhaust. You can see the exhaust is exposed, comes all the way around, starting to climb in, I, I burnt my leg on the engine exhaust here, which goes out on the right-hand side. Then I look to my left, and I see the exposed drive belts or fan belts, whatever the thing generally, spinning around at a fair rate of knots. And all I can think about is that my shirt, and you can see it kind of overhangs even on top of the this, this seat, my shirt is going to get fed into this chenillette monster. And I think to myself, you know, fun though it is, this probably isn't worth the hassle and the risk. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to decide to skip the chenillette ride but uh god help anybody who had to go into action in this thing yeah they, they had uh, they had a little bit more testicular fortitude than i think i would have so there you go interesting vehicle aside we have discovered that the answer to does chieftain fit into a chenillette is we oui. right 
Now, I need to find a challenge. 